Hey there, existing Descript customers. Well, we've done it again, gone and changed everything. Descript's been completely redesigned. There's a ton of new stuff, so hopefully you're mostly happy about that. But you're also maybe going to be at least somewhat annoyed because we've moved everything around. And while most of the stuff we've moved around, it's going to feel obvious and better, hopefully. Some of the stuff like keyboard shortcuts that we changed, there's no way you're going to just figure that out on your own. So that's why I made this video. We've got a full list of everything that's changed in our help center. But in this video, I'm just going to highlight like 10 things that I think will be the most useful to help you transition to the new Descript without missing a beat. Okay, the first thing, the big thing is that Descript is much more script oriented now and much less timeline oriented. Oriented. You could do a lot more in the script using this concept of scenes. And I'm not going to go into detail into scenes in this video, but there's a demo project that Descript will put in front of you when you open the app the first time. Go through that demo project, even if you think you already understand everything already. Because while this new version of Descript is simple and everything, it's also introducing a whole new way of editing. And you kind of do have to rewire your brain around that, especially if you're really used to editing on a timeline. Number two, the timeline. Where did it go? It's still here. If you need to use the timeline, just click on this thing to see the fully expanded view. And note that when you drag layers around, we call them layers instead of tracks now, by the way, hold shift if you don't want them to snap to scenes. Third, where are your project files? Here they are in the insert toolbar, along with all the other things you can insert into your compositions. This is the libraries drawer and it has your project media library as well as our new cloud media libraries. The shortcut to open this is command shift L. Note that we've gotten some feedback from people who like having it open all the time. Well, you can still click and drag it to keep it open. Number four, okay, you found your media library, but, but compositions aren't in there anymore? That's right, they're in their own drawer. Command Shift C to open this one. And a cool thing is that you can use the arrow keys and enter to navigate to the one you wanna to switch to super fast. Hope you like this, I really like it. Number five, we changed a bunch of keyboard shortcuts. You can get the full list by hitting on the question mark down here, but here's a few highlights. For transcript correction, it used to be that you hold E and click to correct a word, W to toggle through punctuation options, and Q to toggle capitalization. Well, we just moved all that stuff down two rows to C, X, and Z. Just one more quick one. If you're still using tab to start and stop playback instead of spacebar, that doesn't work anymore. We needed tab for keyboard accessibility. There was no getting around it. So just use spacebar, but we also have command S to start and stop playback if you're in correct or right mode. Speaking of the script modes, we added this new one called write mode. That's number six. So now if you want to type long form overdub text, you press W to enter write mode or do it from the dropdown up here. This solves a problem we had where the behavior of the spacebar got really confusing if you were in edit mode and trying to edit overdub text. Number seven, our whole workflow for making audiograms has changed. Before, you'd go to export and there was this dedicated flow with these prefab templates. And now you just use our brand new templates feature. So say I wanna turn this little passage into an audiogram. I select it, I click the duplicate button and it puts it in its own composition. Now I just go here, open the templates drawer and pick a great template. And the cool thing with this approach is that they're fully customizable and you can even save your own templates, so neat. Number eight, can you figure out how to change the aspect ratio? Throughout the beta, we've put it in a few different spots to try to put it somewhere where people will find it. So go ahead and pause and see if you can find it on your own and let us know in the comments if you found it or not. Anyway, here's the answer, it's right in here. And the ninth and final thing on this list of like 10 things is changing the layer ordering. If you wanna change the order of things in the canvas, you do it from the right click menu. Don't try to do it from the timeline because layer order in the timeline doesn't necessarily reflect the order in the canvas for reasons that I don't wanna go into right now, but I promise they'd make sense if I explain them. That's it. Don't worry, if you're in the middle of a project or something and you don't want to stop and learn an entirely new version of the app, we're not killing off Descript Classic right away. So you have a little time. And if you happen to be watching this video close enough to the launch, I'm holding live office hours in our Discord community at 9 a.m. Pacific every day for the next week where you can come by and give feedback or get help or whatever. 